Okay, so in our last video, we introduced different types of statements. Here we're going to focus on a key aspect of logic, which is negation. So this means we take our statement and we negate it in some way. And what I mean by that is almost flip the statement from a true one to a false. So negation takes a true statement and makes it false, or it takes a false statement and makes it true. So for example, perhaps I say, Luke, um, can use the force. This is my true statement, right? The Star Wars reference, and this is true. Well, the negation of this might be Luke can not use the force. And really here, you can see that using negation is a simple insertion of the word not. And that's to take his true statement, and I negate it to make it false. And perhaps I start with a false statement, like 2 plus 3 equals 6. Or let me write it in words, 2 plus 3 equals 6. And this is our false statement. To make it true, we can say 2 plus 3 does not equal 6, and it becomes true. Now, it might not be as simple as this. We might actually start off with a statement that already has a not in it. So we can say, today, it is not raining. And this is my true statement. So just because I see the word not in a statement doesn't mean it's false. It just means um, that something is not happening. So here, this is my true statement. The negation of this, which would be false, we would say today, it is not, not raining. All right, and that's false. Um, here, of course, by saying it's not, not raining, I'm really saying that it is raining. So an easier negation here might be something like today, it is raining. So in that case, if we start off with is not, we negate it to is. And you see here that we still, no matter how we word this, change our true statement to a, a, a false one. And there are other key words uh, for negation here. We have not, do or don't. Um, there are all sorts of different words that could pop up while negating. In a truth table, you might see P right, and then not P, with this symbol right here, that's the negation of P. So whatever we have here, P could represent our statement and initially it could be true and false. But when we negate these two, it becomes false and true. And again, P is just a letter often used in logic to refer to some statement. So here we have P and the symbol for the negation of P. All right, hope that helps.